my name is Allison Page. I'm the Town of Tingsboro's Recreation Director. I'm here today to talk to you about an exciting project that is coming up. The Sherburn Avenue Open Space Committee, as a member of the committee, myself and eight other residents in town have developed a plan for the development of the open space on Sherburn Ave and Pawtucket Avenue. If you're unfamiliar with the property, this is the old Tingsboro Country Club area. This property is being donated to the town by the Toll Brothers as part of their project enclave. The select board has appointed nine members of our community to decide what we thought was best for the use of this property. I'm going to present that for you right now. If you're unfamiliar with where we were looking, it is across the Merrimack or on the east side of the town in between Sherburn Ave and Pawtucket Boulevard. It is the lower part of the old Tingsboro Country Club. Here is a layout of the property. It totals 31 and a quarter acres. Two parcels on the upper part and lower level is about three acres, which runs along the Merrimack. So it's divided into a couple of parcels, but two of them are adjoining. So the funding for this project is being proposed through the Community Preservation Act or Community Preservation Funds. The town of Tingsboro opted in for the Community Preservation Act when it was established. We've had this on our tax bill as residents since its inception. These monies that come in through our tax revenue are put aside into a separate fund that can only be used in four categories. Those categories are open space, historic preservation, community housing, and recreation. This particular project ticks two of those boxes, so our project would be allowed to be funded with these funds. In meeting with the Community Preservation Committee, they do have funds available for spending on projects. Our committee, Sherman Avenue, met with them and requested funds for that. I'm going to present the project to you and then review the dollar figures at the end. The proposed amenities that the committee would like to add to this particular piece of property and use it as open space and recreation, so not developing it totally, leaving some open and using some as active recreation. Obviously, there would be some excavating um, involved in getting the land prepped and ready, an outdoor pavilion, an exercise wall, rehabbing of some irrigation systems, clubhouse furnishings for the building, signage, two horseshoe pits, six pickleball courts, two bocce courts, two putting greens, five disc golf uh, course, baskets for a course, uh, four sets of cornhole boards, two shuffleboard courts, various trash and recycling containers, and various benches and picnic tables. That is all proposed in what I am showing you today. In the future, we would like to continue with the project by adding some landscaping amenities, uh, shade gazebo for during the active recreation times, basketball courts, additional maintenance equipment, and some storage. Here's our proposed layout. The committee has met for many months and has gone through many proposals as far as layouts are concerned. And this is the one that we are going with at the moment. It includes all of the amenities. Most of them are on the left hand or the northern part of the property. You can see how they're laid out and everything is connected with walking trails. Some of the walking trails are stone dust, some of the walking trails will be left natural, the ones through the trees would be left natural, and there is a section of it which is also paved along the Sherbin Ave, the upper part of the property. Where I'm circling here is the pavilion which gives you a view of the river as well as the open space. And then in the upper right hand corner is the old golf courses hole number one, which we will use as golf area and a little pitch and pot area at the top. The rest of the amenities will all be on this left hand side with overflow parking and um, a new paved parking lot. Here are the selections of the committee. 
This will be the look of the open air pavilion, will be a post and beam type structure with um, some stone entity to it. This is the workout wall that I had mentioned earlier. This is included in the development of the project, but not um, funding of the project. This the town has a grant for already, but it will go on this site. Pickleball, six courts, very exciting. We have lots of requests for pickleball. The layout will depend on um, the property. Bocce courts could be artificial, could be the oyster crush, will depend on our bids. And then here are some selections for the horseshoe pits, the shuffleboard, which will be, have two of those, cornhole, there'll be four of those, and disc golf set will be five. This is the greens that I was discussing with the um, pitch and putt area as well as the little driving area. The signage selections were wooden, no metal signage if possible. We'd like to keep it as natural and park-like as possible. The exterior furnishings will be uh, metal, power-coated, black, some gaming tables, some just picnic tables. They will be placed around the property in different areas. The wooden picnic tables will be included under the uh, pavilion area, so they could be removed if there was an event of some sort. Landscaping, we will get as much done as possible during the construction part of it, but we'd like to come back after the fact for the beautification landscaping. We will be bringing water back to the property as soon as possible um, once we get through our initial construction. And then additional little details that were important to keeping it about Tingsboro, we know um, the blue Bird houses were big in town would like to maybe bring those into the property some nice garden areas meeting areas um, some fun little entities that will make it and keep it unique for our town on the property is the old clubhouse if you've driven by lately you have seen that it is no longer a brown clubhouse it is a white clubhouse it looks quite lovely actually painted white um, as part of the transfer of the property, the Toll Brothers have agreed to bring this building to code. Um, in doing so, we are basically getting a brand new building. Everything is down to the studs, so new sheetrock, new wiring, new plumbing, new HVAC, um, new flooring, new cabinets. Everything is going to be 100% new, so that's very exciting. We have a new building online, um, and it will just add to the use of this property. With that, the town will be responsible for furnishing it. So we will do the folding tables and a few amenities would be wall ovens and a refrigerator that we would have to supply. So here's the plan estimate. This is what we presented to the Community Preservation Committee. So we went in asking for a total of 787,500. The CPC committee has granted us the option of an 800,000 hoping to maybe get in um, basketball courts, if at all possible, this round. But if not, we will look ahead for those. So CPC funding requires the town to vote that we are allowed to use those funds on this particular project. So we are presenting this to you today in hopes that you're excited about this project. We're very excited to be able to offer these amenities in town. We have nothing like it in town. We're not producing a, another um, ball field or a sports application. This is strictly a family type, 100% open park to everyone. We have lots of open space to do other things in, be it um, events or you know, just a family thing if you wanted to do a birthday party, smaller events on your own. Um, so it's a great opportunity that we were able to get part of this parcel of property back to the town. Um, I think the committee has done a fantastic job thinking of many, many things, what would be best for the town. So with that, we're hoping that you'll come out to the May 2nd town meeting being held at the elementary school, 7 p.m. This is Article 14. We hope that you vote yes on this. We will have a frequently asked question list if you would like more information or you feel free to call the Recreation Department. I'd be happy to answer any questions that I can. Thank you.